Hello, I do hope you're doing well today. And today we're going to be looking at an interesting tutorial. My name is Ian Green and I'm the musician for Music Dreams and also Ian J. Green, two different artist profiles available on all streaming platforms. Today we're going to be looking at a piece called Blue Bottle, which is a piece written by Christopher Norton and can be found on page eight of the Celebration Series 6th Edition Piano Repertoire book for Preparatory A which is a wonderful level that helps us to transition into the Royal Conservatory um, way of playing and learning. Let's take a look at the piece together. There are a few different details and we'll go over to the piano and take a look at them. So first you'll see how there are some various details related to rests. Rests are extremely important in this piece. And the, sp the speed for the piece is fairly fast. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, sometimes rests occur to help create some space, and they're and very important to be included. The right hand and left hand also kind of share the musical ideas. The right hand containing the melody and the musical first part of the musical ideas for the first section, but then the roles are reversed, and the left hand contains the starting points of the melody for the, the second half of the piece. As well, the very, very last notes of the piece are the highest B and C as a grace note and a low C. So it's like the lowest C and then the highest B and C. Now a grace note is played where you play the, the main melody note is the C in the right hand in the last measure in bar 16. But there's a teeny tiny note with like a, sl a, a line through it. We call that a grace note. It's a decoration. So the melody note is C, and I'll play it here so you can see it in the camera angle. We go C with a staccato and an accent. But to play the grace note, we go B to C really quickly. So that's something to practice is just going like this. Now, you can't see this in the camera specifically today, but that sound is actually created using this the two highest notes on the piano, B and C. <laughs> and then incorporating it together, <laughs> we have some fun with that ending. Staccato markings are also included, and the same grace note is actually included in bar eight. If I were to play bars five to eight, one, two, three, four. You'll see how we slide the B into the C. The timing is so important with the rests. I encourage you to practice with the metronome to make sure that the steadiness is consistent with what you play and also where you rest as well. Let's have some fun enjoying this very jumpy and lively piece. It's a very fun and energetic piece with a lot of very interesting details and the rests are just as important as the notes. The speed I was playing was one, two, three, four, a little bit faster than what's written, but it works. If you also follow the suggested time, si time signature of four, four and the tempo of 132 beats per minute as your top speed, that's really great too. Of course, practicing slower to start really helps to get the timing, the rests, and the notes, and then you can gradually increase as you, need, as you see fit. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you next time for another tutorial. And until then, take care for now.